What's going on guys, Ewan Forrester here coming to you live from my home office this afternoon and I want to bring you something a little bit special in terms of obviously making sure that you guys know exactly how to install an EA or robot indicator from start to finish. So let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure that you have your link. I've just got a pre-copied link here. This is what I usually give out. If it's a Google Drive link, of course, and you have something similar to this, right? You would have the kind of description above of what the actual link is, and then you actually have the link at the bottom. Now I'm going to open this link into this browser. It doesn't matter what browser you use, as long as it's something that's connected to the internet. Now, the first thing you're going to see might be a bunch of folders within a folder, if that makes any sense. You can actually right click on the main one and then you can actually go to the word download, hit the word download. You're waiting for the zipped file to be downloaded. Once that's been downloaded, which will be done any moment, just waiting. Okay you'd normally get something that will pop up something similar to this if you don't get the pop-up then that's absolutely fine you can go into kind of your your uh, if it's your google chrome or your internet explorer you just go into the back end and then make sure you go to the downloads folder and then obviously access the whole folder from that route um so anyway we're we're back here so i'm just gonna for for example sake what i'm gonna do is actually save the folder here so it's a, it makes sense for when i upload it so i remember exactly where it is so hunter scalper in the kind of mid summer EA file uh, folder. So we're gonna hit save. Once that's done, you get the notification there at the bottom. What I'll do is click the arrow, go to show in folder. Wait for that also to load. Okay, awesome. I've got around two screens, two or three screens or so. So I'll just drag it over to here so you guys can see. Okay, awesome. So we're here now, I need to unzip this file. So as you guys can see, we've got a highlight pink here to extract file so we need to unzip it so it means extraction so we just click on this and then we just hit extract all when we get the uh, we, we did have to go ahead when we get the go ahead there it is there so extract folders and then we, it's going to ask us where do we want to select it to and we can say this folder here so that's absolutely fine so we hit extract and then you guys can probably just you saw a glimpse of it oh, anyway it, it pops up anyway here so now we've got the extracted folder, you're ready to paste this into your EA. I'm going to just minimize this, we don't need that. And then we're going to bring up our, we can, you can either, there's two things you can use guys. You can use a VPS, it's up to you, or you can use directly the MT4 platform directly off of your computer, laptop, um, whatever device you're using it from. We're going to, for example sake, we're going to show you the VPS. So I've got my VPS preloaded, I've got all my kind of brokers downloaded here already. And from that state, what you want to do is then head back over to your folder where you have your EA, double click inside, grab the necessary files. So double click in it again and again, and then we finally have our EX4 file. I'm just widen it out for you guys there. Now, the first thing you wanna do is just right click and copy. So now you've got that within your kind of, you're holding that folder. The next thing you want to do is to make sure the auto trading feature is switched on at all times. Okay, so the first, mine's already uh, switched on, but for example's sake, I'm going to show you how to do it. So for, I'm turned it off at the moment, so you've got the red icon there. To turn it back on, head into Tools, Options. Maybe I did that a bit too fast, so you guys, I'll slow down. Tools, Options, and then you want to head over to Experts, okay, Expert Advisors. The first thing you want to see, or you're going to see, is obviously a allow automated trading. You can tick that box. If you'd like to disable automated trading when the account's been changed, or when the profile's been changed, or when the symbol or price has been changed, you can check these boxes if you choose to do so. Me, on the other hand, if I change an account, I don't want my uh, EA to switch off. So what I do is just I leave these unchecked. What you can go ahead and do some. Uh, EAs will require you to insert a URL. Um, this one hasn't, but you know, for example's sake, I've got this in mind, so you don't have to, but it's there for any EAs that use news um, related or macroeconomic events to switch the EA off automatically. I actually have an EA, an important EA for that as well. I have that in the link so you guys can view that. But here, look, I want you guys to allow check, so allow DLL imports and allow web requests. So make sure all three of these boxes are checked. So that's one, two, three, and then you're pretty much done. Hit okay. 
and then what you'd notice, voila, we've got a green button. So that's turned green. That has allowed us to make sure that we can do our auto trading safely. Next thing you want to do with the same copied EA that you've had previously from the previous step, you want to go into File, Open Data Folder. Once that's done, you're going to see a bunch of folders here. The first one you want to see or click on is the MQL4 folder. Double click on that. Head into Experts. Double click on that. And then you're going to notice a bunch of mines. I've got loads of EAs here. I'm just going to right click and paste anywhere into this file. I can copy and replace. I've got this one here already. So I'm just going to replace that. So now that's there, you guys can see it. You can X out of this box. And then the next thing you want to do is make sure that your EA is operable. How you do that? Go into your navigator. Okay, very important. Yellow file folder with a star on top. Click on that. And then anywhere on the screen, not above here, but just where this experts probably look like something like this for you guys. All you want to do is hit the plus to enable the drop down menu and then right click anywhere here on the screen and click refresh. Once that's been refreshed, what you'd actually notice is your EA appear, which will be actually here. Now, if it's an indicator that you're loading, indicators would be in this folder. OK, very, very, very simple. So if you want to load this indicator now, or I should say expert advisor onto your chart, I'm going to open up a chart, of course. So I'll just go to, over to the market watch and then we go over to mm, got the UK elections today. So let's stick with the Euro USD, open a chart window. I want to configure this chart. I like bars. Make sure that you have the right time frame for the EA that you're using. We're using the correct one at the moment, which is the H1 for Hunter. We want to scroll down, make sure we can find Hunter. Once you're happy with the charts, of course, you can configure it behind here if you choose to do so by right clicking anywhere in the chart, go into properties, and you can change stuff like the grids. Um, you can you know, take the grids on and off. You can show the ask line. Um, and I believe you can even change the colors and some of this stuff as well. So if you guys are not a fan of the kind of black background or the white background, etc., you can just change it up here by going over here and then clicking on white. And then obviously you can configure the candlesticks. So for example, if you want the bull candle to be uh, green, you can obviously change it over here. And then if you want the bear candle to be red, change it over there. Um, I want to change the outline of that as well. You don't really want the outline of uh, the bar ups. You probably want that in white and another one. Actually, no, we don't want that in white. We want that in black because we've got a different color background. We're going to change this bar down to black as well. This is just additional features. You don't have to do this. It's something that most traders are used to seeing. They're used to seeing a chart like this, right? So that's how you do it. So. Now that's done, last step that you want to take is making sure that you can actually get your EA and then drag it, or you can double click it right over onto the chart. So now this is on chart, this is a settings. Check through everything, making sure it's okay. Allow modification of signal settings, all three are checked. You're happy with that, inputs, etc. You can change and configure stuff like that, like lots, how to use how much risks, uh, risk, max risk that you want to use per trade, which is two percent at the moment. Uh, max lots is obviously 0 0.01 lots, um, and obviously you can, st you can start and stop the EA as well if you choose to do so. I don't normally normally mess about the settings; it's already been optimized for literally copy and paste, which is what we're doing. Um, and then you just want to hit the word OK. Now that's done. Let's wait. Be patient and wait. I'm not sure why this has gone why it's white, white. So let's uh, let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. This should be another. So let's have a look. Let's configure. See if anything's gone wrong. Let's just make this default. Let's see green and black. Yeah, there we go. So it was just the white one playing playing up. So the very fact that obviously that's nothing to do with the EA, of course, it's just something to do with MT4. Might be something I configured and didn't do right in the background settings. So obviously with the back, forefront, etc. Maybe being white and white, it probably didn't show up the EA sign. Well, look, you got it here. Hunter scalp part with the smiley face showing that the robot is now on. It is working and it will be ready to place trades. So guys, there you go. There you have it. This is exactly how to install an EA from start from scratch to finish, from start to finish, dragging you or taking you through the process of making sure that you can 
download the EA, unzip the EA, and then obviously install it onto your platform. Guys, this is Ewan Frost again. Any questions, feel free to message me. I'll be more than happy. Again, I'm going to leave the link down below for that news EA, which is very, very important to make sure that your EA switches on and off. It's not mandatory, but it is important to make sure that your EA or your robot is not trading between fundamental news unless it's been optimized to trade around fundamental news. Take care, guys. I'll speak to you guys soon. Ciao.